when you leave satan unhindered he will kill everything he can kill he will steal everything he can steal he will destroy everything he can destroy john 10 10 the thief cometh not but for to steal to kill and to destroy satan's tripartite signature the moment if you are unsure who is around verify it with these tripartite activities if satan comes he will never leave you the way he met you he must steal something if satan comes and passes you and you are alone except god helped you or intercession saved you or it's not him but if it is satan you know there are people called pick there are these boys that are experts in stealing they can lift their hands and still steal <laughs> praise god lift they can pass you with their hands lifted and yet something will still be missing and it's not diabolism how they and, praise the name of the lord so satan is like that he can pass through your finances he can pass through your marriage he can pass through the life of your children he can pass through your spiritual life he can pass through your destiny he can pass through a church he can pass through a ministry he can pass through the life of a man of god you know it is him because something must be stolen something must seem to die something must seem to be destroyed someone shout no way shout it again say no way Because for some of you before now, you've not seen the necessity for the anointing. And Satan keeps camping you around that mindset and say, are you an apostle? No. Are you a prophet? No. Are you not just a businessman? Don't mind them. He's cheating you. Let me just advise you right now. Especially because of these end times. The condition for being anointed is that you are alive. The moment you are alive, just know that Satan will come to you. If he has not come, the messengers are on their way. But through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit themselves let me prophesy to someone that any force that has refused to let you go in the name of jesus and by the power that raised christ from the dead he must give up on you finally hear me your business will not just grow uh -uh. your children will not just be responsible people the ministry will not just grow your political career will not just flourish there is a devil who is determined to make sure everything god in your life dies are we together it will tear your relationship between you and your wife tear your relationship between you and your children destroy your finances until he reduces you to ashes mess up your ministry until you become a testimony of pain and shame satan for you when he does it he will sign it like julius berger will build and write signed everything that was lost shall be returned unto you everything that was stolen shall be restored unto you everything that was lost shall be returned unto me everything that was stolen What makes you believe Satan will fold his arms and watch you promoted? You think he does not know what your influence will do to the kingdom? Man of God, what makes you believe that Satan will sit down and allow you to continue to be a rising voice? You think he does not know what your voice will do to your territory? Hmm. Oh, Zechariah and Elizabeth. It's not about barrenness it's about john who will anoint jesus there are many battles today that many of you are fighting that has nothing to do with you it is because of something that will come out from you listen when you see satan fighting your family what is what is finance does he eat naira and cobble and dollars he knows that with that empowerment you will send your son to a mission school and in that mission school one day a prophet or apostle will visit that school he will have an encounter and he will find his purpose and become a mighty man of god so he will make sure that school fees never enters your hand help that woman please 
I can tell you firsthand every time you see the devil around your life he's not there to advise you he's not there to counsel you he's there to steal to kill and to destroy help that lady please listen can I be honest with you I have seen many demon spirits in my life I'm not telling you what I just read in scripture if you ever see men excelling in spite of Satan something is keeping him you don't want listen to me for thousands of years of Satan as a defeated foe he has still not given up on fighting God you have to understand the person you are dealing with you will think after the millions of years of his rebellion he should just give up one day satan is as determined today as he was when he left heaven what kind of a creature is that even some of the capons some of the arm robbers some of the terrorists they got to a point where they were broken like children have you ever seen satan repenting have you ever seen his picture on his knees saying god just punish me but i'm ready for peace most people do not know the person they are dealing with if you think oppressing you for 30 years will make satan say it's enough think again apostle he has tied down my ministry for five years one day go better satan go and read your bible a man who was thrown from heaven and after millions of years he is still determined to thwart the purposes of God is there is anything to learn from Satan is determination can I tell you you were born in the middle of an old story that has nothing to do with you but simply because you found yourself in that space called the earth you better find out the rules of engagement otherwise you will find out that your life will become a casualty that you know nothing about i remember years ago a gentleman true story the moment he became 13 someone slapped him in his dream 13 years and when he came and met me and he was talking you know a little boy was in one of the schools then in zari and all of that and he came those times i used to just see them and he was telling me that somebody slapped him do you know true story when he was talking to his father the father said describe who slapped you and that was exactly what happened to the father i don't know if it was around that time but at least as a teenager you know what the spirit was saying welcome to a battle that your being part of this bloodline has forced you you must be interested in what we are dealing with are we together why do we need the anointing because there is a real devil there are real spirits 